Welcome to One Mic, One Voice, Breaking, Breaking news. news. I mean, man, this thing with Stormy Daniels, man. man. I mean, a president that is, we wouldn't say man, <laughs> engulfed in this porn star um, relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, wh wh what do we say about this whole situation? Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? So I've, I've got the news here. Okay. Okay. Give so, us the news. Uh, CNN reports that Stormy Daniels did. Um, they actually just released her polygraph results. Mm. This polygraph was taken back in 2011 and found that um, th they asked her three questions. Uh, one was around July 2006, did you have vaginal intercourse with Donald Trump? Ouch. Number two, around July 2006, did you have unprotected sex Ouch. with Donald Trump? And the last question was, uh, did Trump say you would get on The Apprentice, which was his, his show back then? Uh, so there may be some incentive for her to do these yeah. sexual things. But she was already doing these type of well, sexual things. Well, he's a star, things, so. right? He can grab people by the pussy, so he's a star, right? Uh -huh. okay. okay, so uh says Dan's reply yes to all three questions. Mm -hmm. The first two were analyzed to be truthful. So wow. 100%, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And the third question was inconclusive. So the, the fact that this was supposed to be some type of uh, gateway for her to be on The Apprentice Show was un undecided uh, by the polygraph. But it says uh, Daniel reply Daniel's reply yes to all three questions. The first two were analyzed to be truthful. And the third question was inconclusive, according to the polygraph examiner, Ronald Slay. I mean, really, do, do, do we want a, a, a Pontus, a president that is running around with porn stars, and and again, I, I'm not going to get into the morality. I mean, depending on who you who you hold are, on, hold on a second. I'm not going to get into the morality of Stormy Daniels, May right? Because you. she's doing what she needs to do. However, what I'm saying is, if you've done it, just say yeah. Hard to do when you're the president. But, 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 but if you've done it, Hard simply to say to yes. Porn this star happened. Star. It happened years ago, but to lie about it speaks to the character of this man. And we know this man to be a repulsive liar. Mm -hmm. And for those that, that continue to support him, the Christian right, mm -hmm. those that stand by the principles of the Bible, mm -hmm. that continue to support this man that continues to lie, which in the good books is a sin, mm -hmm. is shameful. And we Let's, talk. Uh, Let's call it what it is, right? It's wrong. It's a lie. And this man needs to be exposed for what he is. Mike says, Donald Trump, you need Jesus. You dig? Uh, but anyway, I, I, like, I, like, like I was saying, uh, in his position, mm -hmm. he's not going to be in, uh, uh, like readily to bring that information mm -hmm. out. You know, he's not going to say, yeah, uh, it was 2006. Her and I had a little thing going on and. I slit my whoop in the whoop, you know, but, you know, it's like we talked about on the show today is is if this had been Barack Obama. Oh, man. Uh, Michelle in pregnancy with <sighs> man. little Obamas. That's the know? contrast, right? Would this be acceptable? Oh, man. Would we still be having oh. this conversation about what if? Impeachment. <laughs> I mean, the Republican Congress would have been after him with pitchforks. There is no way they would live this down. This would never be off of Fox News. And the fact that we have given this guy centrally a pass mm -hmm. speaks to the white privilege of what it means to be a white male in our society. And listen, all I'm saying is let's embrace it for what it is. This woman is not lying. She's mm -hmm. being truthful. And the reality I mean, anybody who goes through uh, the polygraph uh, situation, I mean, you got to be, you got to be, uh, have some type of merit. You know? I mean, what does Stormy have to lose? Uh, yeah. I mean, she's just telling the truth. It's not like she's got to lose anything. I she's mean, that's what she truth. does, right? That's what you said. This is, what <laughs> this she is does. my thing. This is I do she... this with <laughs> this the president, whoever. <laughs> whoever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, but folks, listen, this is breaking news. Think twice. Think twice when you judge what is happening in the over office, folks. This is not something that we can deal with, that we can accept. We are in a democracy. Things rise above that. There is a certain standard that the president must uphold. We're not seeing it today. And listen, I don't know about you, but I'm disgusted with this. And I'm calling on our lawmakers 
to make some tough decisions and do the right thing, D. Heard it here first, folks. Mike has told you what's going down. Now it's up to us to make the decision. Uh, do we want to be in a society where our whole, our highest, uh, highest, highest achieving job officer responsibility is placed in the hands of a person who is so reckless, narcissistic, narcissistic, um, sexualizing women, <laughs> uh, demonizing immigrants? Yeah. I mean, when is enough enough? Uh, let us know what you think. Absolutely. This has been breaking news with one mic, one boy.